Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow finished up 60, Nasdaq up 80, S&P's up 50 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jim Prince, as we do each and every Wednesday at 20 past the second hour. Uh, Jim, folks, got a great website. It's gbemembers.com. Uh, our man, Mr. Jim Prince, check it out. Uh, you can, uh, it's gbemembers.com. Uh, you can also uh, check out Jim's writing as, uh, as well. Uh, coming over to our website at TFNN, you'll go under uh, Nadex Market News, and Jim's over on that site, uh, writes a lot of different great articles out there. Jim Prince, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, how are you today? Doing great, man. Yourself? Doing pretty well. I'm looking forward to this weekend. How about yourself? Oh, the Labor Day weekend's always a great weekend, isn't it? it you know, to me, Jim and folks, it's almost like a start of a new year. Um, <laughs> it, it really is. For some reason, um, even when I was a kid, just I guess what happened is that I was in the concession business for a long time when I was a young kid. And in the summer, what would end up happening, I'd transition from selling hot dogs, hamburgers, all the stuff down the beach, going back inside the stores on Labor Day. Do you know what I mean? So it was like, it was yeah. always kind of a cool deal, no doubt, man. Sure. So. Um, let's go take a look at a few of the charts that you sent over. So where would you like yeah. to start? I have, uh, I have the, I really have the Russell, uh, the dollar and crude, right? Yeah. Let's, how about starting out with crude today? Okay, cool. Let's take a look at the crude contract. Um, okay. So I have your chart up here. Okay. So talk to me. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. It's so last week we identified that the market had, you know, broken out of the triangle that uh, we had talked about actually for several weeks. Yes. And Today, you can see it is powered above that horizontal resistance line now. So I know you were you were talking about this market a bit ago, and I completely agree. I think it's very, very possible that we're going to test the high of that big red candle there from yeah. uh, July 11th. I think right. that's quite possible now with the, uh, the momentum. And um, my indicators are saying that exact same thing. In fact, if you look a little bit to the uh, left there, that the peak that the uh, – uh, downtrend line starts on okay. uh, June 29th. I think it's uh, very possible we even inch a little higher than that red candle and test that high as well. Yeah, it makes sense. It's, it is particularly because, you know, we know the trade's going to be light the next couple of days. You're already up there. It's like, why not, right? It's like, yeah, exactly. We'll get that follow through. You know, and, and as you're looking at his charts, folks, you're going to be able to see, you know, uh, uh, the size of those candles. That's the amount of selling that was done in May as well as July. So it's going to be intriguing um, letting it uh, you know, get up to that point and see exactly uh, how the bulls and bears are going to be fighting it out. Because they're certainly going to be fighting it out up there. Yeah, they are, you know, and then, you know, from a chart perspective, we're almost going to be at a quadruple top at that point if the market moves up to that uh, that area. Pretty wild. Okay, so next, uh, what, do you, what would you like, the Russell or the dollar? Yeah, let's go to the Russell. Okay, so let's take the Russell uh, 2000, and yeah. I got this baby up here. Okay, Ooh, look All at right, this, so huh? Whoa, baby. <laughs> yeah, where's this going? Yeah, so this is exactly how I left it alone from last week when, when I was on your program. Yes. And we, we had that yellow line there, uh, 1740 to 40. Well, Monday, we came within just a couple of points of hitting that level, backed off. And today, obviously, it uh, really wasn't falling through as much as compared to some of the other markets. But I think we are right there in the ballpark. That was my measured move up to the top of that blue box there on the right. Okay. Which is right there at that at that line. So I think we're, we're right on pace to uh, you know, work our way up there and, and touch that, if not exceed it here, real shortly. Now, the, the measured move. Did you, did you take that move off the uh, the highs to the lows for, after when it broke? How did you do that measured move, Jim? Yeah. So within the triangle, you see the the blue box or rectangle oh, cool. there on the left side of the. I do. I do. Yeah. So so I measured that move nice. there from low to high, and then yeah. I just projected it off the more recent low of the uh, and put it the the left edge of that box on the right. Yeah. And that's little market geometry is the way I look at it. And you know what's so cool, man? And it's like some of this stuff, folks, the market is not simple by any means, okay? But I love what he's doing there. I do that a lot. And, you know, whether it's doing an ABC up or ABC down, um, but it's funny, when you get a longer consolidation, man, it's just like, okay, how big is the consolidation? It's going up the next one or it's going down the next one? And it's, it's wild. It's like, okay, we, we all love numbers, but like, how does it really work? Do you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> seriously, it's like, yeah, oh. it's, it's awesome. It is awesome. It is awesome. Okay, so then we get uh, good old dollar. Okay, yes. so 
So, yeah, let me grab that chart here. So with the uh, with the dollar, we've had obviously some some big movement to the downside here of late. And within my charts, I show the market right now pinned between a key moving average, which is the 89 SMA, which is that red line. OK. And then all, just above it, the 50 SMA. So that the market's going to vacillate there for a little bit. That that uh, gold line that moves from left to right just about at the low there from yesterday yes that's a, that's a key area and i look at this as if that area gets taken out we're going to that green zone that i marked there on, on the chart there's a lot of momentum via my indicators to the downside here at the moment so i expect some sort of reaction here maybe a retest uh, up uh, upwards a little bit but then I'm seeing, you know, we have a real potential to move lower here. Yeah, it's going to get interesting because he has, if you're watching Tiger TV, folks, that, that green line is set up right, uh, basically parallel to where the huge strength was on uh, the 14th of June. That's where that, you're going to see a huge candle on the right-hand side of that. That was a powerful day uh, inside the dollar index. Yeah, and, and uh, you know when it came back down the left edge of that green zone there, that was from uh, early part of July, and really we, we broke back through that green big green candle you mentioned there, and, and halted there about you know 75 percent of the way back down, and that's what you know led to a foundation for the market to move higher from there. Yeah, so we're going to get a lot of moving parts. The thing that's going to be intriguing, of course, is that uh, coming back uh, you know after the uh, basically Labor Day weekend. Uh, not necessarily on Tuesday, folks. What, what ends up happening is that the market on Tuesday, you'll get a decent market. But starting Wednesday, you get traders, uh, vacations are over, uh, summer trading is over, you're going to get volume uh, inside these indices. And what has happened uh, all summer long, we've certainly had vo volume and volatility inside the currency markets. I mean, those currency markets oh. have been moving around quite a bit. Yeah, you know, if we have time, Tom, if we could look at the pound yen. Sure. Just, just real quick there. Yeah. What a monster today. Yes. That, uh, the, here, I can bring up, uh, I can, I'll bring up the pound at least, right? Look at that move. Yeah. Yeah. So we're at 130 on the pound. Now, that had to do uh, with, I guess, they, they're basically saying that uh, they're going to get uh, a deal. Well, they, they extend it. It looks like they're going to get a deal done, right, for Brexit. So. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and this is quite a move, folks. If you happen to be watching here, we're at 130. Uh, the last five months, we went from a price point of 145 down to it. Looks like is that 126, man. Yeah. I guess you know. Bottom line, folks, if you're gonna if you're gonna go into the UK, go buy a pounds right now because <laughs> um, you know. Bottom line, at a buck thirty, it's not bad, right? You know. Not I mean, bad at all. You know, it seems like, and I've said this this morning, too, when we were watching this, every time you go to London, man, London is so expensive. But most of the time I've been there, the pound's been like a buck fifty, man. It's like, okay, you, you're broke as soon as you get there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, man, it's always a pleasure. Uh, folks, Jim's website is gbemembers.com. Check it out. Greatest business on earth. Meet Trader Jim. It's a beautiful thing. Hey, listen, man. Thanks. Thanks for the package, too, man. I'm, I'm, a, oh, you bet, I'm a chocolate, fruit, and wine freak, so it was perfect. perfect. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right. Have a great one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.